All right, let's go ahead and see how you do a stop loss. So if you look at some of these, they have a stop loss. So it says buy under 5,700 and a stop loss of 5,200. What this is, is an insurance on your buy. So if you bought this and didn't set a stop loss, and let's say some people start dumping signals or singles, whatever it is. It would just keep going down and down. Let's say it went down to like 2000 20000 2000 whatever. Then you'd be out a lot of money. With the stop loss, you can protect your investment. So here's what happens. So I have, uh, let me cancel this right now. I've got a sell order in. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So if you see here, I've got 17,825 CFI available. Just bought this a few minutes ago. Now, if I wanted to set a stop loss at 5,200, what I would do here is sell max, change this from limit to conditional, and the condition is less than or equal to. So what I would say is, and here's where you gotta make sure you get your Okay, so this is saying if the price hits 5250, go ahead and submit this order. So what I can do is 5200 here. If I want to sell 5200, what happens is only if this price goes down to 5250 will my sell order of 5200 go into effect, and then it will sell. Does that make sense? So you can set these for whatever you want. So let's say I wanted to make sure that this didn't go below 5,000. What I'd do is I'd come down here and say, when it hits 5,050, set my sell order for 5,000. And this is how much BTC, if this went into effect and it got sold, this is what would happen. So that's how you use a stop loss to protect your investment. Um, and I can sit here and show you what it'll look like. It'll say quantity, <clears throat> price, subtotal, commission, total, limit sell, market, time force, good till canceled. So all I have to do is click confirm, and I hope this doesn't actually fire off. So, all right. So here's my order. But it's not placed until this happens. So I'm going to cancel it because I don't want it there. So does that make sense? Once you buy, you can come here and just do conditional. If you want to do a conditional sell, so let's say I want to do sell this at 7,500, but I didn't want my sell order to show up here, putting the sell wall up. You can do this for a sell too. So let's do sell, conditional, sell when greater than or equal to. So I could say put this at 7,250, and when this hits, I want to sell this at 75. So what's going to happen is, Instead of me placing my order for 7.5 and having it show up here, it will not show up here in the cell walls until this condition hits. So basically this right here is the same as anything. You're just telling this right here when to fire it. So when this happens, place this order. That's how you can do a conditional sell and a conditional buy. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.